There's been so many gunshots for so many years that some people in Shreveport are becoming numb to the violence. But the violence me, bears the burden we all are paying. Yeah. The exact From paganism! The brothers that stay out of the land, that's all we talk about. See, you see brothers, the prophets out here with the gospel, you think that we playing the sun? We playing the sun? You see the army and yeah, we the sons of God and we stay for some. Israel, we to have power with God and man prevail. You know that Israel the flex on the Jesus, amen, because I know why they rage. Yeah, they know the most I can. So step on them, step on them, step on them, step on them, step on them. Step on them, yeah, step on them, yeah, step on them, 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 yeah, step on them, yeah, step on them, yeah, step on them, yeah, step on them, step on them, step on them, step on them, step on his arms, step on his legs, step on his chest, step on his head. Let me just beat him in back of the head and remind about all of the things that he did. And until we repent, we can continue to march for peace. We can continue to say, hands up, not shoot. We can continue being a get out of the until we repent as the Israelites. Read. Bless be the Lord God of Israel, for he had visited and redeemed his people. His people. His people is possessors. He redeemed us out of Egypt. He's going to redeem us out of Jamaica. He's going to redeem us out of this fifth place called America. The Bible called it Babylon the Great. Right, read. And has raised up a horn of salvation for us. He raised up a savior for us. That's not for everybody. Everybody don't need saving. We need saving. Right. Read. For us in the house of his servant David, uh -huh. as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world begun. Since the world began in Genesis. Moses told us about the black Messiah who redeem us in the last days. Moses warned us if we brought the laws of God, we was going to go to the slave on slave ships all over the earth, put the yoke of iron upon our necks. Moses warned us, but we didn't want to listen. We hard headed today, but guess what? You must repent as Israelites. Come out the Christian church, come out of Islam, it's all false garbage. Come back to your true nationality. As he speak by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies. That we should be saved from our enemies. We got enemies. It's not no so-called red man with a pitfall up under the, uh, under the ground. We got physical enemies to set up shop. The Edomites, the Ishmaelites, the Edomites, the Hamites, all are our enemies. And I'm going to show you during 22 and 5 real with Christians. I know you got to go. But I'm going to get back to these other nations. They know who you are. They want you in sin. Hold it real quick. Give me Judah 5 and 20. Guess what? Our people have been lost for the lack of knowledge. We've been destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Guess what? We think, guess what? How can we trust anybody that tell us our Lord and Savior is a white man? And the Bible says he's black. How can we trust them and they put us in slavery? How can we trust them when they killed us for reading the Bible? So even the doctrine has changed. The doctrine has changed because they teach us all y'all do is believe in Jesus. And you say, you good with God. No, we have to work for the kingdom of God. We have to work for the kingdom. Christianity is lazy. You think all y'all do is believe in God and you save? No, that's a lie. The Bible say, right, you must keep God's commands in the faith of the Christ Messiah. Read that. It's the book of Judah, chapter 5, verse 20. Now therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people, and they sin against their God, let us consider that this shall be their ruin. So the other nations, they know who we are, but we all know who we are. He says, if there be any what? And if there be any error in this people, and they sin against their God. Wait a minute, they ain't telling you. If they sin against their God, read. Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. That's our ruin. Hey, why we got gout? Why we got heart disease? High blood pressure? We not eat what God commands us to eat. We ain't never supposed to eat no filthy pig. We're not supposed to eat shrimp, crab, lobster, and all that. But guess what? I guarantee I can go to the store and buy some. Crawfish. Crawfish. We're not supposed to eat none of that. That's in the Bible, Leviticus chapter 11. We'll get it out. So, all these things that we don't supposed to do, they teach it to our people so we can stay and sin. Because don't we in sin, that kingdom was, hey, this is their kingdom. This is their kingdom, and this is our hell. Read. And let us go up. Uh, Give me 
do the 22 and 5. I got a show here. Like, what? What's that in the Bible? Do the 22 and 5 real quick. Guess what? If God said we was a holy people. Guess what? He gave us a dress code. He gave us a dietary law. More civil laws that we got to deal with each other, right? So, if we're a separate people, we can't be like uh, us, so-called Queen Elizabeth. We say we kings and queens, right? And princesses, they don't even wear no, no pants. I ain't never see a, a woman get married in, in uh, uh, pants, right? But these days, thugs do, right? Marry other women. But guess what? You must dress according to the word of God. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. Read out. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Because God knew in a land called America, they're going to say, you can do, do what you, do you, do you. He says, the woman should not wear which belongs to a man. What do y'all wear belongs to a man? Pants. Who? Pants. Pants. Listen, pants, sister. Sister, listen up. Don't, hey, you cannot lead to your own understanding. There was no pants, no women in the Bible days. It's not such thing as women pants. We're going to get you what God commanded the men to wear pants. Give me that real quick. Exodus 28. He the oh boy, you in the spirit. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 28, verse 41. And thou, my sisters, I know y'all a little bit old. I ain't trying to hey, cap on your age, right? But y'all understand. What did we just call pants back in the day? Put up your what? Richard. Your who? Richard. And thou shalt put them upon Aaron thy brother and his son. And his sons, males, read. And shall anoint them and consecrate them and sanctify them that they. 41? Yes, sir. This is the end of 41. Okay. That they may minister unto me in the priest office. Uh -huh. And thou shalt make them linen breeches. Make them what? Linen breeches. Make them linen pants. Pull up your breeches. Women don't wear breeches. He and women can wear breeches, but you chosen. You royalty. Read. But well, that's in the Old Testament. And make the hold up, hold up, wait a minute. <laughs> Let me put some respect. <laughs> hey, hey, we gotta stop that. Hold up, hold up. Who's a, who who taught that this Old Testament? Let me ask you a question. Was there anything called the book of Timothy, Acts, Matthew, Mark, when Christ walked this earth? What was they teaching? They were teaching the laws of God. Right. 517. Watch this. Yes, ma'am. Matthew, I want you to get that real quick. Matthew, you there. All praises. Watch this. Now, this is coming out of Christ's own mouth. Let's see what Christ says. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. Uh-oh. Christ says out of his own mouth, think that I'm not come to destroy the law, right? Watch this. Keep going. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. Now this is where the Christian church fall off the heart. The horse. The oh, man. See, he fulfilled. What did Christ fulfill? The prophecy of him coming, the, uh, the prophecy of him coming and what else? And there you go. You absolutely right. Now let's get that out of the scripture. Give me that. Uh, what is that? Acts, you got it? Acts chapter 3 verse 18. But those things which God had for which before had shown by the mouth of all his prophets that Christ should suffer, he had so fulfilled. So the suffering of Jesus Christ, when you go into what is that, Isaiah 53rd chapter, when they talk about they pulled his beard and they whipped his back, the prophecy of Christ coming to do away with what? Think about it, what do we call Christ? The what, sacrificial what? The lamb. The lamb. Think about it, you have five categories of commandments. You had your sacrificial, you had your dietary, you had your ceremonial, you had your moral, and you had your civil laws. Five categories of laws. Which one did Christ come to do away with? The sacrificial laws. Give me that in Hebrews real quick. Hebrews 10. Stay with me. Let's get the understanding of it today. So Christ says, you know what? No more, you know what I'm saying? You can't go and sacrifice a lamb no more. I'm the sacrificial law. I'm that. So anything dealing with sacrifice, sacrificing, it's over with. Watch this. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10 and verse 1. For the law, having a shadow of good things to come, and the very image of the things, can never, with those sacrifices which they offered year by year, continually, to the commas thereunto, make perfect. So, sacrificing is not going to make you perfect. Because keep in mind, understand this, under the law of Moses, 
certain sacrifices you couldn't bring. Certain sins you was in, it was no sacrifice. Right. So guess what? If you was in the midst of homosexuality, you was killed. If you was what? If you was in the midst of adultery, you was put to death. That's right. Right, I'm going to get you to understand. It. So under the old law of Moses, certain laws that you did, you got put to death. It was no sacrifice. So guess what? Christ has to come and say, you know what? Under me, you got liberty and grace. You got grace to repent and get yourself right. That's right. Watch this. It's the book of Acts, chapter 13, verse 38. Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sin. What man is preached unto you forgiveness of sin? Who is it? Jesus Christ. Now under Jesus Christ, under the new covenant, guess what? You are forgiven. You got an opportunity and a chance to correct yourself and get it right. And by him, all that believe are justified from all things. Which, for which he could not be justified by the law of Moses. Like we were saying, under the old covenant, under the law of Moses, you was put to death. Yeah. Yeah. You had no mercy. You committed adultery. Hey, stone him. If you were worshiping other gods, stone him. You couldn't bring a sacrifice. Your own blood have to be shed. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.